Hi, welcome to Prime Recap. After a great tragedy, a caveman and a Tyrannosaurus Rex must join forces to face the dangers of nature in the prehistoric era. Today we will recap the first full season of the series, Primal, from 2019. Spear, a Neanderthal man, is fishing in a lake to secure dinner for his family when he is attacked by a giant crocodile and must jump into the water to save himself. The human hides at the bottom of the lake and waits for the monster to leave before getting up and returning home with the fish he has collected. While walking through the forest, Spear spots a pterosaurus and must hide in a tree trunk to avoid being devoured. Minutes later, the creature disappears and he can continue on his way. As he approaches his camp, Spear spots dinosaur tracks on the ground and hears his wife's desperate cries. Immediately, the man grabs his spear and runs to defend his family, but when he gets there, he sees his wife and children being devoured by bloodthirsty monsters. Furious, he attacks one of the creatures, but knows that he cannot get rid of all of them alone. Spear is surrounded and about to meet the same fate as his family when a terrifying roar rushes through the forest and the three dinosaurs run towards it. In that instant, the man discovers that those monsters are only babies and their mother is an even more frightening creature. Spear returns to his cave, he comes across a drawing of his family and, due to the grief, he falls into a deep depression. Determined to take his own life, the Neanderthal climbs a mountain and intends to jump from the top, but gives up doing so when, looking up at the sunrise, he sees the image of his wife and two children. In this instant, Spear realizes that this is not what his family would like him to do. So he looks for a way to continue living, despite the pain. Days later, Primitive Man returns to fish in that same lake and, while devouring his fish, spots a T-Rex walking through the forest. The animal grabs some fish with its mouth and continues on its way. Driven by hatred and a thirst for revenge, the human begins to follow him and discovers that that dinosaur is actually a mother who is bringing food to her little children. Just then, the monsters that eliminated Spear's family appear and are now determined to devour the babies. Fang attacks the enemies to defend them, and the man decides to help her. Despite everything he has experienced and his hatred for that species, he could not let another family be destroyed, so he uses all his strength to help that T-Rex protect its young. Spear rips the tooth out of one of those monsters and uses his own prey to attack it. Then he takes his spear and pierces the animal's heart. Together, man and beast manage to get rid of the predators and Spear finally gets his revenge. However, this is not enough to make him feel better. While the human laments his loss, the youngsters approach him and thank him for saving them. This could be the beginning of a great friendship, but the mother of the dinosaurs that were eliminated breaks into the cave and, seeing what has happened to her children, decides to take revenge. The monster throws Fang away and devours her young. Despite being much smaller than its enemy, the T-Rex attacks it and is about to be eliminated when Spear decides to act. Fang can hardly believe it when she sees a human risking his life to save her and enters the battle alongside him. Aware that he will never be able to eliminate that creature alone, the Neanderthal climbs on his alley's back and they both scale the enemy's body. In this way Spear is able to pierce its brain with his spear and put an end to that monster. At that moment, Fang goes to check the nest where her babies were, and enters into a deep sadness when she realizes that she will never be able to see them again. Spear knows this pain very well and knows that there is nothing he can do to comfort that mother. So he decides to leave and go on his way. Later, while walking along the beach, Spear realizes that he is being followed by T-Rex. Now that she is alone, the animal wishes to accompany that human on his journey. From that day on, they enter a competition where every time Spear tries to hunt an animal, Fang runs to catch the prey before he does. This being the case, even if Spear has captured prey, Fang doesn't mind devouring the animal without at least splitting it. Furious, the man sits on a rock and begins eating insects to survive. After dinner, it is time to unload the food, and T-Rex once again wins the competition, attracting all the flies in the place. The next day, the human climbs a tree to collect some fruit, and Fang starts head-butting him to the ground. Finally, she even eats the food he went to get. At this point, Spear is determined to get rid of that dinosaur, but changes his mind when he remembers everything she has been through and they both continue on their way together. The next morning, the hunt continues and the duo starts the day by chasing a deer into the forest, but again, T-Rex is faster and manages to capture the animal. However, Spear is hungry and both get into a dispute to decide who will get the food. After having his spear destroyed, the man pulls out two tree trunks and continues the duel, but Fang manages to grab it and throws it away. Suddenly, the pair hears an ominous noise and realizes that they have ended up in a snake's nest. Slowly, they try to get away from the place, but are surprised by a strong current of water that invades the forest, carrying everything in its path, including the poisonous snakes. The two companions try to escape, 
but are soon caught in the water and must fight against the snakes that are determined to devour them. Fang ends up being stung and must get rid of those snakes while her partner faces a gigantic monster. Seeing him in trouble, the dinosaur starts a battle against that creature while Spear returns to the surface to breathe. At that instant, he finds that he is about to fall into a waterfall and uses the snake's body to hold on. The T-Rex holds on to the other end and they both get trapped by a rock. However, due to the difference in weight, the human ends up being dragged down and they end up falling. During the fall, Spear injures himself by hitting his body against the rocks, and Fang pulls him out of the water. When he wakes up, the man is confronted by his new friend, who gives him the remaining piece of his spear. As of now, the dinosaur is willing to work together with the human to get food. Apparently, this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. With the onset of winter, a band of mammoths is on their way to seek shelter, but one of them is old and injured, so he cannot keep up with the rest of the herd. The animal is left behind alone in the middle of the blizzard, but still keeps walking. The mammoth continues on its way until it reaches a gorge, where it is attacked by Spear. Soon after, Fang shows up and grabs the animal, which continues to resist, despite the attacks. Desperate to get food, the man attacks the mammoth's eye with a rock and the dinosaur takes the opportunity to knock him out. Together they manage to capture their prey, and Spear shows pity for the poor creature. After grabbing a piece of skin for warmth, they both begin to devour the mammoth and still take a few pieces of meat along for the ride. After tying the food to a sled made of bones, the human uses the mammoth's tusk to pull it. After several hours of walking in a snowstorm, the pair find a cave and decide to spend the night there. The mammoth's remains are being devoured by wolves when his herd finds him. Realizing that his friend's only tusk has been taken, the leader of the pack begins a hunt. On the walls of the cave, Spear draws details about what happened that day and feels bad for the brutality with which he had to act to slaughter the animal. The man remembers the time when his family was still alive and he taught his oldest son to hunt. He always taught the boy to have empathy for animals and to hunt only what was necessary to survive. Suddenly, the cave where the duo is is under attack and they have to run out of there to avoid being buried by rocks. In that instant, the two friends encounter dozens of angry mammoths and must dodge their attacks. Seeing Feng in danger, Spear rushes to her aid and manages to attack the animal with his spear, but is then thrown into the clutches of another mammoth. The man manages to take down his opponent, but ends up being crushed. Now that the life of her only friend is at stake, T-Rex gathers all her forces and intensifies her attacks. Once she manages to take down her target, she goes to help the human, however, she is captured and is about to be crushed by two mammoths. Just then, Spear stands up and takes the late mammoth's tusk to attack the herd. Seeing the tusk in the human's hands, the leader of the herd approaches and the man realizes that all they want is that prey. After retrieving it, the gang leaves, leaving the two friends alone. After walking for long days, the mammoths arrive at the cemetery, where they hold the farewell ceremony for their companion. A few days have passed since the mammoth attack, and the pair are pursued by a group of hungry raptors, who band together to capture them. While fleeing on Fang's back, Spear must get rid of predators and avoid getting himself and his partner attacked. When they are surrounded, the T-Rex manages to jump away and hides in the middle of a plantation. Still, the raptors do not give up on their prey and manage to catch up with them. However, when the sun goes down, they decide to retreat and quickly flee. At this point Spear suspects that there is some danger afoot, and his suspicions are confirmed when, a few meters ahead, they spot several skulls carved into a large rock. Not knowing where to go, the pair continue walking cautiously and spot a pale, scrawny ape creeping along frightened with a wild boar on his back. Suddenly, the creature falls to the ground and injures its leg. Unable to walk, it begins to scream for help, and the other monkeys of its species that were hiding under the rocks appear. When one of them goes to help his friend, a red monster appears from the sky and captures the primate. Seeing the animal's despair, Spear decides to help him and manages to get him safely into the cave. Just then, a gloomy bat appears and is about to capture the human, but Fang is faster and manages to eliminate it with one bite. However, new enemies appear and the Neanderthal must defeat them. After destroying dozens of those monsters, Spear sees her friend being taken away and runs to her rescue. After saving Fang, he is the one who ends up being captured and T-Rex runs after the bat to save him. Minutes later, she finds the nest of these creatures, which is on top of a gigantic rock, and tries to climb up to get there. After several unsuccessful attempts, Fang decides to play dead so that the bats themselves will carry her to the den. Her plan works, but, no doubt, she could not imagine what is to come. When the monsters leave, the dinosaur starts rummaging through the piles of bodies looking for her friend and notices that there are several cocoons inside, where the food is digested. In that instant, Fang discovers that that lair is home to a giant spider and realizes the trouble she has gotten herself into. 
The arachnid manages to capture it with its web, but the dinosaur breaks free from the trap and bites the animal. However, she ends up being thrown against the wall several times, and luckily finds the cocoon where Spear is trapped. Fang quickly manages to free her friend, but is soon captured again. The man then manages to free himself from the web and runs to his partner's aid. He spots a triceratops wrapped in a cocoon and, with the aid of a rock, manages to pull off one of its horns. He then uses the object as a weapon to pierce the monster's head and free his friend. Now, the next challenge is to escape from that nest before the bats show up. Driven by desperation, Spear has the idea of using the spider's web as rope to climb down and ties it around Fang's body. He then pushes the dinosaur out and jumps right after it. When it finally reaches the ground, the duo runs away from there, as the bats have just returned to the cave. Upon seeing the dead mutant spider, they go into despair and set out to seek revenge. Spear has just recovered his spear when he is reached by the predators and manages to eliminate them one by one. However, it doesn't matter how many of those monsters man is able to eliminate, because new bats appear all the time. Jumping back on Fang's back, the pair re-enter the plantation and are pursued. Coincidentally, the raptors are also there and start hunting the bats, which allows the two friends to go unnoticed and escape. A short time later, while walking through the forest, they find a beautiful waterfall with crystal clear water. Their spear can catch the fish with his bare hands, without even needing the help of his spear. While the man grabs the food, Fang chases a cloud of butterflies, and minutes later they sit down together to eat. After the meal, the dinosaur will take a nap while Spear takes the opportunity to swim and relax a bit. While diving, he notices the shadow of some silhouettes walking on the surface and scales the rock where Fang was standing to check what it is. Realizing that his friend is no longer there, the man decides to follow the tracks and enters the forest. At that moment, he is hit on the head and faints. When he wakes up, Spear realizes that he has ended up in an arena full of monkeys and Fang is by his side. Both are tied up in such a way that they cannot even move. The elderly monkey declares the beginning of the battle, in which five gorillas will fight to the death and only one will be the winner. As the duel begins, a real massacre takes place and the gorillas end up eliminating each other until only two of them are left standing. After a sequence of crazy punches, he is declared the champion, who will have the right to drink the sacred liquid that gives him the true strength of a warrior. Fang will be the next challenger to this monster and is determined to survive so that she can get her friend out of that place. However, T-Rex doesn't stand a chance against that troglodyte and faints after taking the first blow. Upon waking up, she continues to try to win the fight, but ends up getting beaten until she can no longer stand up. By this time, Spear is desperate to see his companion on the verge of death and manages to break through the vine with his teeth. After breaking free, the human jumps on top of his enemy and attacks one of his eyes. When he realizes that he will never be able to defeat him, he decides to go after the sacred liquid and is pursued by the monkeys. However, the caveman is faster and, after eliminating the elder, takes all the drink. The primates begin to attack him, but are unable to contain the effects of the potion. Spear turns into a real titan and attacks the gorilla that is about to eliminate Fang. The two monstrous-looking creatures challenge each other, but Spear manages to defeat his opponent easily, tearing off its arms. He then uses his limbs to crush the rest of the animal's body. Upon seeing this brutal scene, the monkeys unite to attack the enemy, and when they realize that they will not be able to defeat him, they decide to flee. However, Spear will not let what those demented did to Fang go unpunished, and decides to wreak havoc by eliminating every individual who comes his way. Minutes later, the place becomes a real war field, with bodies strewn everywhere, and Spear appears in the middle of them. He has now recovered his true body and rushes to see how Fang is doing. Apparently, his partner did not survive the attack, which causes the human great anger and despair. However, while mourning the death of his only friend, Spear gets a nice surprise, as the T-Rex begins to breathe. After giving water to his injured partner, the man makes some mud to cover her wounds. He knows that in those conditions Fang will not be able to get up, but he must find a way to get her out of that place surrounded by vultures. So he has the idea to use some bamboos and vines that are nearby to make a stretcher and drag the dinosaur away from there. After digging out all the sand next to the animal's body, Spear starts the work, and within a few hours he is able to finish the stretcher. Now the challenge is to push Fang's gigantic body onto the bamboo bed, but after much effort, he manages to accomplish yet another mission. With great difficulty, the Neanderthal drags his partner out of that graveyard and walks slowly through the forest. When he finally finds a lake, he decides to take a break and uses his injured hands to give the dinosaur water. As soon as the sun goes down, the man notices the presence of wolves in the area and decides to set up some fires around Fang to prevent them from approaching. At dawn, Spear finds another way to carry his companion and ties vines around his body to drag the stretcher. 
In this way, his hands don't get hurt as badly. All along the way, the duo is followed by wolves that lie in wait, just waiting for the right moment to attack. After several miles of walking, Spear finds a cave where he can finally rest until Fang recovers. His only concern is the wolves that surround the place. During the night, the man falls asleep and when he wakes up, he realizes that the place is surrounded by mutant cockroaches. Immediately, he runs to get the bugs off the dinosaur's body and realizes that the bugs have a hard shell on their back. Therefore, he has to drive the spear into its belly to eliminate them. After getting rid of the creatures, the man takes the opportunity to serve them to Fang as a snack, since he cannot go out hunting. When the water reservoir runs out, Spear needs to go to the nearest lake and closes the cave entrances to prevent the wolves from entering. Some time later, T-Rex hears some predators approaching and prepares to fight, but her partner soon appears and manages to drive them away. After a battle where he had a great disadvantage, the human enters the cave and Fang tries to get up to help him, but her leg has not yet fully healed. This being the case, Spear tries to calm her down and comes up with the idea of using the invading cockroaches as weapons to attack the predators. Determined to help her friend, even though she is still wounded, Fang gets up and leaves the cave to support him in that fight, eliminating the entire pack at once. In a remote part of the forest lives a large family of Brachiosaurus. While feeding, one of them is surprised by a small, strange-looking dinosaur that is clearly suffering from some disease. After having its paw bitten, the Brachiosaurus throws the little animal away and it ends up dying. A few minutes later, the wounded dinosaur shows the same symptoms as the creature that bit it, and after drinking water, begins to expel blood without stopping. The animal then runs amok and destroys the eggs from the other mother's nests, until a family member decides to stop it. At that moment, the poor Brachiosaurus gets his neck bitten off and dies immediately. The zombie creature then attacks all the members of his group until none of them are alive. A few days later, Spear and Fang arrive on the scene and are paralyzed when they are confronted with that scene of terror. While walking there, they are surprised by the zombie dinosaur, which gets up and starts chasing them. The pair tries to escape through the forest, but the animal continues after them, destroying every tree in its path. During their escape, they end up falling into a canyon and must hide in a hole in the rocks to get rid of the creature. After a few attempts to eliminate his target, the monster finally gives up and falls to the ground. Scared and exhausted after the chase, the two friends end up falling asleep and Spear has a nightmare in which he and Fang begin to melt after being bitten by the zombie. In the middle of the night, when they wake up, the duo plans to sneak out and slowly descend the mountain so as not to make any noise. However, they are caught by the Brachiosaurus, which resumes its hunt. At the end of the canyon, the creature eventually gets stuck and can no longer reach them. However, it is not long before its prey discovers that they have ended up on top of a volcano. After being hit by lava splashes, they return slowly so that the ground doesn't start cracking. However, their strategy is interrupted when the infected animal manages to get through the rocks and invades the volcano, causing a pool of lava to form. The two friends then take advantage of the sinking Brachiosaurus to get out of that place and run back to the canyon. Before leaving, they watch as the monster is consumed by fire and its body is turned to ashes. Weeks have passed since that big scare and the adventures continue in the lives of the duo. This time, they spot a greenish flame coming from the forest and decide to go there to see what it is. As Spear approaches the scene, he is shocked to see a man being burned in these flames. On his body are several symbols drawn, and around him are several mysterious creatures that look totally sinister. The man cries out in pain as the creatures summon some macabre entity. Suddenly, a mysterious being approaches, along with a pterodactyl, and as it enters the flames, its body takes the form of a demonic figure. Then a spirit in the form of a snake invades the man's body and all the marks unite, giving birth to a new snake that comes out of its interior directly into the demon's body. At the end of the process, all that is left of the poor man is an empty shell and the spirit creature becomes pregnant, giving birth to a human child. The baby is handed over to one of the entities, who takes care of him as if he were her own child. Just then, the pterodactyl spots Spear and Fang and begins to scream. Their master then orders his servants to capture the spies, and the pair try to escape through the forest. However, the creatures find them and, surprisingly, possess the ability to vanish into thin air. When they find Fang, the dinosaur ends up being bewitched and, helps to capture Spear. The next morning, he is tied to the sacrificial stone and realizes that if nothing is done, he will meet the same fate as the man from the night before. At that moment, one of the entities appears, and upon hearing his friend's screams, the T-Rex begins to break free of the spell. However, the witch manages to control it again and soon realizes that this animal has a strong bond with the human. Therefore, the creature decides to visit Fang's past and discovers that she and Spear met the day the poor mother lost her young. Next, 
The witch breaks into the caveman's past and visits the time when he lost his entire family. When faced with this extreme pain, the sorceress is saddened and leaves. When she arrives at her tent, she decides to revisit her own past, for the story of the two friends reminds her of the day she lost the child she raised as her own. Later, the witch returns with green paint in hand and uses it to drops on Spear's body. When evening comes, the creatures gather again to witness the birth of a new baby. However, just as the ceremony was about to begin, the witch attacks the pterodactyl, arousing the demon's fury. She then sends Fang to free Spear and the demon turns into a wild wolf whose mission is to stop T-Rex. In order to help the pair escape, the sorceress transforms into a bird and distracts the entity while the two friends flee through the forest. Fang is still under the witch's spell when she leads Spear away, however. The spell comes to an end the moment the old woman is captured and devoured by the wolf. In that instant, Spear realizes what has happened and laments the death of the witch who helped him escape alive. But at least now, on the spiritual plane, she can reunite with her dead daughter. While walking through the forest, a saber-toothed tiger is surprised by an unknown creature, which quickly attacks him. As they are usually attracted to trouble, Spear and Fang end up finding the animal's remains, and the dinosaur soon realizes that the best thing to do is to go far away. However, Spear insists on investigating and only leaves when his partner decides to run away. The pair continues their walk until nightfall, when they take a break to rest. A few meters away, a group of Triceratops is going on its way when it is attacked by the mysterious creature. At that moment, the human hears the desperate cries of these animals and grabs his spear to go and help them. However, he is stopped by Fang, who is already tired of getting into danger. At dawn, while his friend is fishing in the lake, Spear spots dozens of vultures flying over the forest and soon realizes that they are there because of the attack that happened the night before. That same day, while crossing the jungle, they are surprised by a strong gust of wind and hide behind a rock while waiting for the gale to pass. Night comes and Spear still has the feeling that something very wrong is happening in that place. When the duo finally manages to fall asleep, the predator approaches and they both wake up scared. Spear breaks into a cold sweat from fear, but stands firm and ready for battle. Fang and her partner start to run, but are pursued and eventually forced to fight. The creature attacks them in the dead of night, but the man manages to dodge its blows. Seeing her partner being hunted, T-Rex goes after him and manages to eliminate one of his enemies. At that instant, a terrifying scream invades the forest, and its function is to stun its prey. While trying to protect his ears, Spear picks up his spear and strikes a few blows, which luckily end up hitting the enemy. In order to surround the creature, the human has the idea to trap it inside a circle of fire. Thus, the monster can no longer hide and ends up being eliminated with a blow to the heart. On another ordinary day of fishing, Spear is surprised to find a woman coming out of the ocean, and behind her is a bloodthirsty sea creature. After helping Fang get rid of that monster, he goes after Mira, who is quickly fleeing through the forest. The pair chase her until they manage to surround her, and Spear lights a fire to warm the woman. Still suspicious, Mira approaches the fire and lies down to rest. It is already night when she wakes up and begins to bow to the moon. The next morning, Spear and Fang get up and go on their way. Afraid to face the dangers of the jungle alone, Mira decides to follow them, but Fang is not too keen on the idea of having her around. Still, the woman insists on going after them, and slowly manages to win the dinosaur's trust, who even prevents her from being attacked by a giant dragonfly. While they are eating, Mira gets the idea to look for something to cook her piece of meat. After gathering some vegetables and herbs, she makes a nice soup. The smell even arouses the interest of Fang, who steals the food that should be given to Spear. However, upon tasting the cooked vegetables, the man prefers to return to his raw meat. The next morning, Mira wakes up in severe pain, caused by the wood stuck in her neck. Seeing the woman's suffering, Spear decides to help her and enlists the help of his partner to destroy the wooden necklace. He then uses a stone to help the woman get rid of the bracelets, giving her back her freedom. Now that she no longer has anything attached to her body, Mira begins to produce her own weapons, as she does not want to be dead weight for the team. With her arrow, she manages to capture a bird that her companions have failed to hunt and guarantees that night's dinner. Through drawings, Mira and Spear communicate, and the woman explains the meaning of the tattooed mark on the back of her head. A few weeks ago, her village was invaded and some women were taken by force by a group of Vikings. However, Mira managed to break free and escaped from the ship. It was on this day that she met Spear and Fang, after escaping from their pursuers. The next morning, the trio must cross a deep lake and, for the first time, the dinosaur allows the woman to climb on her back. Together they dive into the water and Mira feels happy that she has been accepted as part of that group. As they are crossing a stone mountain, Fang becomes afraid and is unable to move forward. 
Spear tries to force her to keep climbing, but is unable to convince the T-Rex. Mira then decides to try another way and offers snacks to encourage Fang to climb the rocks. After offering her thanks to the moon, the woman goes to sleep and the trio is surprised that night. A group of monkeys invade the cave and capture Mira. Immediately, Fang and Spear begin a battle against those creatures to save her, and after eliminating all their enemies, they run to try to reach the woman. The dinosaur manages to sniff out her partner and they are both surprised to see that the monkeys that captured her have been blasted with arrows. The two friends continue the chase, but soon discover that Mira has been taken by a ship that has the same symbol that is tattooed on her head. So what did you think of this movie? Leave it in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please like and subscribe for more movie recaps. See you next time.